Hey guys, Doug here at Critical Hit Games, and I wanted to share a little video with you. Uh, in my latest video that I just posted, I started working with polystyrene. It's this big, thick, pink board. Um, and if you're not used to working with it, I wanted to give a little video just for some safety, just to inform you as to what it is. So this is polystyrene insulation foam board, or high density foam. You can get it at your local home improvement store and you can get a ton of it for pretty cheap. I think it's a, this one is part of a uh, eight foot by four foot panel that came, I got it for 15 bucks at Lowe's. Um, so you can get a lot for very little. When you can consider that our models are about this big, how much eight foot is, it's absurd. Uh, to work with this, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a hobby knife. They also make a hot foam wire cutter. Um, I, don't, I don't personally use those, I own one. I don't really like it that much. It creates a lot of fumes. Box cutter is probably gonna be your most common one. I'm gonna warn you that this stuff will wear out your blades very quickly. So if you're gonna, going out to buy this, while you're at the same store, just pick up a huge pack of blades. Um, already, I just made one video with this and these things are already dull. Um, it's just something to keep in mind. Also, to work with foam, you're gonna need a file. This is my metal one. You don't have to use metal, you can use a regular nail file. Um, you, the nice thing about foam is that you can carve it and shape it. You can smooth it out, make it really nice. Uh, as far as the actual thing itself, um, you get a lot for your money. It's super lightweight, as you can see, like how it floats. And it's just easy to shape and carve, which makes it ideal for creating rocks and terrain and hills and anything you can think of. Um, the, the main thing I really wanted to share with you in this video is if you need blades, you don't want to work with dull blades, it's dangerous. And also, you cannot spray paint this stuff. If you use regular spray paint, there is a H2O based one that you can use, but most spray paints, if you put it on this, it's going to melt and it's going to create all kinds of fumes you don't want around. Um, and that is my the you know critical game safety warning for you guys. Do not spray paint this stuff. Um, I try to give as sound advice as I can to keep everybody safe when they're doing this in the hobby. Um, and that's one that people just forget. You think, oh, I got a base coat. Why well, base coat my models with you know Krylon black spray paint? And the second they hit this stuff, it melts and it releases all sorts of nastiness in the air. So I just wanted to let you guys know this stuff exists. It's fun. It's awesome. You should buy some and do it safely.